winners of the Student Dessert Award at Worcester's Best Chef. We have the Culinary Students of a Bay Path, and Chef is here as well. Thank you so much for, for coming by. Before we talk to Lorenzo and Anthony a little bit about the award and about the dessert that they made, tell us a little bit about the, the culinary arts program that, that you have at this school. Um, our culinary arts program is for 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th grade students. And underclassmen work mostly in sanitation jobs and learning how to properly handle food. It gets fun when they become juniors, like these guys and the seniors, when we have a restaurant that's open to the public. Mm. So Tuesday through Friday from 11 to 12.30 we're open, and they do all of the serving of the food and the preparing of the food. We also make the baked goods, the breads, the desserts, and the entrees. Wow. So the kids get a, a full restaurant experience while they're in high school. Wow, really hands-on. So Lorenzo, you want to be a chef? You want to work in, you want to be a chef? Yeah. All right, so uh, tell me a little bit then about the experience that you're getting at, at Bay Path. Uh, it's a good start to the culinary world, because it's really what it is. So at this restaurant, Tuesday through Thursday? Friday. Friday. Tell me a little bit about some of the things that, that, that you prepare. Uh, we make a lot of different foods. We have a lot of different stations, uh, from the hot and the cold line. We can do salads and sandwiches to steaks and fried foods. Now, who's coming in? Who's, uh, who are your customers? Is it just the other students, or, is, or it's people uh, no, from it's, the community? It's open to the public, yeah. It's open to the public. All right, Anthony, who comes walking through that? that door and what's your specialty? My personal specialty yeah. would probably be the grill. That's mm -hmm. the thing I've found that I'm the best at so far. Um, and is that what you want to do as well when you when you get out of school you want to go and work as a, yeah. as a line chef somewhere? Or? Yes. Okay. All right. Great. So when you say that the, the grill, is that the burgers and the... Yeah, like steaks and stuff. We have a char boil grill. That's one of our mm. stations, and we grill steaks and burgers and stuff on that. All right. Tell me about this experience at Worcester's Best Chef and this dessert that you all, all put together, and then you got this, this fabulous award as, as well. Oh, it was, a, it was an amazing experience. We got to serve the food to the judges that the chefs made, and then we got to shadow a few chefs. Me and Lorenzo actually shadowed the same chef, Peter Echo. He was also one of the judges. Hmm. And we made the Boston cream pie, and we won this award. What did you learn from, from shadowing uh, Peter? Uh, we actually made a sweet pea bisque. It was actually really good, and you know, I was trying it. He said one of the uh, most important things of being a chef is trying everything you make. Right, so. to be able to, to taste it. Yeah. What, did, he, uh, did he give you any uh, hints or, or your thoughts about what you might want to do to kind of get into the restaurant business to, to be a chef or what kind of chef you want to be? Uh, he told us a little bit about his business and where he worked. Um, it's just different experiences all over. Yeah. So. Yeah. What, when you're putting this was your second year at Worcester's Best Chef. That's right. When you were preparing with the students to go out and and be part of uh, the Worcester Best Chef competition, how did you prepare them? What did you tell them to focus on? Um, well, first we had to decide what we were going to bring for a dessert. So mm. we took a poll and we made different prototypes of what we wanted to do. We came up with the Boston cream pie this year, and they liked that the best. What were some of the other things that were in the running? Um, we tried something with peanut butter and chocolate, a mousse, but it, it tended to wouldn't have traveled yeah. well, so yeah. we had to think about bringing that enough for to right. feed a thousand people and that we could handle that. And then I explained to them they're going to have to be very quiet while they watch the chefs work and to listen. So some chefs are comfortable and they can talk while they're working mm -hmm. and some did tell the guys what they were making and they're very specific about how it's to be presented to the judges and so that part, the first part of our day was a lot of work for them. They worked yeah. with the Tantasqua High School culinary arts students as well and they worked in teams and presented the food to the judges which I thought was great. We, a thousand desserts. Well, we, wow. we made enough for a thousand. Yeah, for, for, for a thousand sure. people. That, that, that's incredible. Uh, so, I mean, that the whole school must have smelled like, like Boston cream pie. Yeah, our shop smells really good <laughs> most of the time. Now, you, you, so well, tell me a little bit about the competition part. I mean, that part must have been great. So you were up against other, other schools as well. Uh, Worcester Vogue mm -hmm. was there as well as Tantasqua, and they, each of us had one dessert they represented to the, the, the public at 4 o'clock, right. and the, so the students, if they weren't shadowing chefs, they were serving at the table, working the table. So that's, I mean, so, so there was some real competition. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, everything was delicious. It as, as well, I, I, I love that. What do you think, and, and what was the feedback that you got that put your Boston cream pie over the top? A lot of people really enjoyed it. We used a fresh vanilla bean when we made the custard, so I think that added a, a special flavor mm. to it. Um, Tantasqua is winning dessert was a peach melba cheesecake which was delicious too yeah. so 
Yeah. It, was, it was tough competition. It was I very bet. delicious. I, I bet. Lorenzo, th tell me a little bit about being there in that atmosphere and, uh, and the competition and seeing the students from the, from the other schools. How was, uh, how was that? Uh, <clears throat> this felt really competitive, honestly. I talked to some of the kids from the other schools, and they're really passionate about what they do. Mm. So just create a good atmosphere. It shows nice. you there's going to be some competition out there for, yeah. those, for those jobs that you guys are going to be, be yeah. going after as, as well. Just it, it, one more moment, then we're going to bring up some more students as, as well. But while we have you here, Chef, that part of it, the part uh, at school where it's not only obviously that the, the making and finding out you know, what you're good at or what your specialty might be, but the competitive part now of you graduate and you have to go out and get a job in a field that is just exploding. In, in the area, how do you prepare the kids for that? Well, every day that they're in shop, we've got them for about six and a half hours and they're doing the work. They're getting ready to be there. So if they go on to Johnson & Wales or another culinary institute, they're head and shoulders above people just coming in off the street. Mm -hmm. They've got a lot of the skills that they need and the fact that they get used to the job too because sometimes students come in as ninth graders and they decide they don't want to be chefs by the time they graduate. Right, so which is a good thing to find out as well. Exactly, it gives yeah. them a chance to figure out what they want to do before they get through. It, when, when they graduate, are there those who can go right into the into the industry as well? And some do, yeah. and there are some people on co-op as juniors and seniors that are already working during their shop weeks, and they'll have jobs when they get out of high school. All right, well, congratulations for this, guys. We're going to bring up some of, the, some of the other students and, and talk to them, and we'll do that straight ahead on the Hank's Tolls Experience. Apple pictures, pumpkin pie. You were young and so was I. Are you or someone you know struggling to keep your home warm? Worcester Community Action Council may be able to help. Money through the federally funded Low Income Home Energy Assistance Program, commonly known as Fuel Assistance, are now available to help pay home heating bills. Whether you rent or own or heat by oil, gas, electric, wood, or any other heating source, assistance is based on the number of people living in your household and their combined income. A single household making up to $34,000 a year may be eligible. A family of four can be making as much as $65,000 and be eligible. Visit WCAC.net today. I absolutely loved every minute of playing high school sports and just the feeling of going into the locker room before a game and how cool it was coming out and the whole town's all around the field cheering and, and it's just such a special feeling. Played basketball and golf at Auburn High. I was the captain of both teams my senior year. For me, I learned a lot because I played high school sports when I was at Auburn High School. I started back in March of 1997, and it was, it was a lot different then. I was the only person in sports. We were shooting on VHS tapes. I started in December of 2000. I was the assignment desk editor and the health watch reporter. I was also always a sports guy, but you get paid to do things that you love to do, and for us, that's being on a ball field or a basketball court or just being around sports. Our enthusiasm, I think, for sports is contagious, and everyone gets swept up in it. It shows, in, I think, in our overall product in our sports that everyone cares. Introducing the all-new CharterTV3.com. Hover along the easy-to-read navigation bar to news. Find your favorite news segment scrolling down the drop-down menu. Segments like the Hanover Theater This Week, Health Watch, the Central Mass Business Report, Your Community Advocate, and more. Visit the all-new chartertv3.com today. George, Alexis, and Amanda join us now. And again, congratulations, guys, for the... Charter TV 3 Student Dessert Award that you got at Worcester's Best Chef. That came along with a check for $2,000 from our good friend Dominic, who joins us each year to tell us about Worcester's Best Chef. And I know that money goes right back into your, your program at, uh, at school. George, tell me a little bit about that day, about being there, the setup, uh, what, the, what the whole atmosphere was like at Worcester's Best Chef for you. Well, it was actually pretty crazy. There was a lot more people than I expected to be actually there. Uh, so we, when we actually we got there, we got all set up, and we're you know we're making sure our, sta our stations are all, all all right. And there's tables lining all the walls, just with with where they're setting up. There's maybe 30 tables or so with chefs, just all preparing their stuff. And then we actually helped serve their dishes to the judges. Mm. So that that was actually a really fun experience watching all these guys cook and. It, it was really incredible, some of the stuff they were doing. 
So, you know, so a lot of fun, but as you said, it's incredible the stuff that they were doing. What did you learn? Honestly, I learned more styles of cooking than I've ever seen before. Mm -hmm. There was one instance where it was a, um, a Asian restaurant and the the chef was actually cooking with octopus and he, he <laughs> he came out, he had it saran wrapped, he put it out on the table, it was a big octopus tentacle. I was, I was shocked. I've never seen anybody use octopus, and nor did I think it was going to be there. That's fantastic. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. Uh, Alexis, uh, so you're a senior, yeah. right? And tell me a little bit about your all four years now at, at Bay Path that you've yeah. been in. Uh, so what got you into it, and, you, and obviously you still love it, and what do you want to do with it? I got into it, and I was really intrigued by all the different dishes that the seniors were making. I'd like to continue on to, like, a general management, so hopefully maybe run my own restaurant someday and create ah, All right, so, uh, George, you want to be a, a chef or? A baker. A baker, okay. This is it. I mean, this is interesting to me, not knowing anything about it, that there are everybody who has been up here so far really has something different, so you're more interested in kind of the management and owning your and owning your own, would you would you be back there in the kitchen as well? Absolutely, yeah. definitely. Yeah, all right. So Amanda, what is, what's your specialty? Um, I like to bake bread. I find that whenever I bake bread, it comes out nice and fluffy, like the way it's supposed to, and... Tell me about the first time that you made bread. Did it come out the way that it was supposed to? Mm. No? <laughs> but at the end well, of the week, I got the way it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be. Yeah. So I'm guessing that baking bread is not as easy as, as one would think. It is not. It really isn't. It is, it, it no, is difficult. No, it's definitely not. I, t give me a little tutorial here on how... So basically what you do first is you measure out all the ingredients you need to measure out, and then you start by activating the yeast into the warm water until it gets nice and throthy and like bubbly up top. Mm -hmm. And then you mix your dry ingredients with your fats, which is just butter, shortening... I would and think then, that the only drawback yeah. I could see to putting together the perfect bread yeah. and, and being a, uh, a baker and making all the different, and I'm a big, I love bread and all the different mm -hmm. kinds of breads. Mm -hmm. What time do you got to get up to, uh, to be in the bakery? <laughs> Three, four? I would say around like five. Five, five yeah. 30. The bakers get going yeah. early, early, right? Yeah. That's why, Alexis, you own it. You Absolutely. set your own hours. <laughs> and, you know, that seems like the lightest smart way to go. What was your experience there at, at Best Chef like? It was really fun. I got a shadow of a chef the entire day. Um, he did a wonton soup. It was absolutely phenomenal. It was delicious. All of the people around were very supportive. It was fun to work with the other students too. Even though it was competitive, we all worked together. Yeah. We served the chef's food and it was a really nice day. You know, Amanda, Chef kind of mentioned this a mm -hmm. little bit in the last week. What did you find were all the different personalities of the, of the chefs? Did you find that? I mean, did you see, did you kind of observe there are those who are more outgoing, there are those who maybe are a little more intense? During the part where they're doing the dredging and making the things for the multiple judges, some of them were nervous, some of them were really relaxed, and some of them were just like laid back, like, oh, <laughs> you got this. On the, yeah, on the yeah. outside, we'll yeah, see what the they were like on the inside. So what is your biggest takeaway from having gone through this experience? Um, I don't think any of it. It was yeah. really exhilarating. Exhilarating. Yeah. Ah, George, your, 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 your takeaway from having gone, gone through this? Honestly, I think it was really that there's a lot more of the culinary field that I didn't know about, and I was able to just see bits and pieces of a lot more stuff that yeah. I, I'm really excited to learn about. Yeah. Alexis, your, your takeaway from having done it? I liked to see all the different dishes being put together and all the chefs working hard. It was, it was nice to be in an area where you learned a lot about everything instead of being just set to... You know, I mean, I, you know, it's a great observation that, that you all had. I mean, you know, the fact mm -hmm. is, I mean, I suppose especially if you're going to open up your own place, what kind of place are you going to open up? But, you know, the fact that there is so many different aspects to this and now to be able to put it all together. Guys, congratulations again on the award. Thank, thank you thank so you. much for coming yeah, and, and talking to us about it. And as always, thank you for joining us right here on the Hank Stoltz Experience. Mm -hmm.